Good morning, my lovely humans. Welcome to my first vlog. I am gonna attempt to vlog today. I've already done a terrible job because I forgot to film myself waking up and getting ready. So here I am standing here with hair and make, well not hair, but with makeup already done and you didn't get to see any of it, my bad. And I'm gonna go grab some breakfast. I eat the same thing every day and it's a bagel and we're gonna go grab a bagel. I'm gonna wear a hat that I stole from my little brother because honestly, because I broke out and I've got like a pimple right here and it's just the hat just covers it so perfectly. I can't believe I put this stuff on the internet. Okay, let's do it. Let's go do it. But actually like, look at this. I know it's small, I know. I'm being stupid and it's small and nobody's gonna notice it, but like, I know. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Hi, I'm glad that you're here. Sorry you have to watch my first ever vlog when I have no idea what I'm doing and I'm filming it on an iPhone because I didn't charge my camera. I'm Haley. I live in New York City. I live alone in New York City because I'm trying to be female boss energy. And what am I doing? I need to go get my bagel. Off to get a bagel. Where's my key? We got it. We got the key. We're good. Let's go get a bagel from the local bagel shop. I love my building because only like five people live here. So the elevator is always empty, which is great. That is where the bagels are. Filming yourself in public is weird. Bagel time. The bagels. Oh. Could I get a bagel with cream cheese? Uh, cinnamon raisin toasted, please. Thank you. The aesthetic bodega shot. Get the bagel. Thank you so Thank you. much. Time to go eat this bagel. Filming yourself in public is so awkward and so weird and I don't know how vloggers do it and I don't know how I'm gonna get used to it because everyone was looking at me like I was crazy because I was carrying around a camera filming myself. I don't know, bro. <laughs> it's so awkward. Now to set my phone right here and do the exact same thing I just did. You know, for context. Welcome back to my home. My home. Which I cleaned last night. I was having a really hard night. I don't know, I was just in my feels. Instead of sitting there and being sad and crying and watching a sad movie, I decided to put on The Greatest Showman and to clean my apartment. The Haley of today really thanks the Haley of yesterday because I'm loving this clean apartment. Right, Blue? Uh, are you my rat in a cage? My rat in the cage. My rat in a cage. Hello, my love. Hello, my love. Hello. Yes, were you scared all by yourself? Say yeah. I don't even know what I have to do today. My hair really needs some loving today, but I decided just to, just to leave it. Today's bagel is the same bagel as every single day. Cinnamon raisin, because I'm an old man. Plain cream cheese. Oh my God. No one makes a bagel like a New York bodega. Although I am lactose intolerant, which is why I'm wiping some of the cream cheese out because I don't want to get too sick. But it's fine because I eat it every morning and my body can handle a little milk. What do people talk about in vlogs? It's like life, everything. I don't really do anything exciting. <laughs> she loves to show me her bone. Look at that, it's so big. What are you doing? Where'd that rat get that bone? This is what I do all day. <laughs> I'm such a dog mom. Oh my God, you actually do have to put your stand on a light ring to film these. Oh my God. I hate myself. <laughs> Honestly, I've never understood the concept of making your bed because I'm just gonna get right back into it, but I still do it. Ta-da! Well, I was trying to decide what I was gonna do for my first vlog. I don't even know if you're supposed to decide what you're gonna do for a vlog or if you just kind of vlog your life. 
I thought I could give you guys a small tour of my apartment, even though most of you have probably already seen it because you watched Caleb's apartment tour on a YouTube. Come along with me on a impromptu apartment tour because I don't really know how else to start my first vlog. Welcome to my elevator room. That sounds way cooler than it is. I share this elevator with like four other people, the four other people that live in this building and they're almost never home. I guess it's just me. <laughs> this saved my life because I can just waltz through this door, get straight in the elevator, go down with my dogs, and then come right back up without ever having to see anyone. I'm from Minnesota, so being from Minnesota, we've got a lot of snow, and I grew up with these things called mudrooms so that the rest of your house wouldn't be covered in like nasty, disgusting, gross stuff. In our city, there are barely any apartments that have mudrooms. Most of the apartments, the door opens directly into your living room. While those were absolutely beautiful, I was on a mission to find a mudroom and I did. And I'm so happy that I did because I have so much storage for all of my things. New York City is absolutely disgusting and you don't want that inside your house. No New York juice in the house. One of my favorite things about my apartment is that it has these doors in between the mudroom and the living room so that I can close them. And I can also lock them. I have these doors as kind of an extra security layer. These are for you, mom and dad. New York isn't as scary as you think it is. So you walk right through those doors and then boom, you are in my living room. Welcome to my living room. This was the reason that I originally got this apartment. I saw this and I was like, I have to have it. This looks like Dr. Strange's lair and I wanted to be Dr. Strange. This is the hangout area. This is where everyone congregates. This is where we watch Netflix. This is where we drink. This is where we look at people through the windows of New York City. This is really where I do pretty much everything. And this window is one of the coolest parts of this entire unit. This window is original and it opens. And then one of my other favorite parts of my apartment is the fact that this is the original cargo elevator. This is the only unit that they kept this in. And uh, that's originally where the elevator would go into the unit. And I think back in the day, this used to be artist studios. So this would be a cargo elevator and you could bring all of your supplies in and then boom, it was right here. This is the bowling alley part of my apartment. No, there's not a bowling alley. It's just like really long and skinny. So my friends call it my bowling alley. We have bought bowling pins and we have bowls in, in this hallway. The long hallway that exists between my living room and my dining room and my kitchen. Really wanted a unit that had a lot of space. I have three dogs. One is 70 pounds, Mr. Spockums, and he needs to run. And if he didn't have this to just run back and forth and back and forth, he would be tearing up every single thing that I own. So this is really for my dogs. And if you haven't noticed, I love comics. I grew up reading comics. And so I have tons of vintage comic books framed kind of all over my entire apartment. And then I also have, you know, the grown up action figures. Even have a copy of X-Men 92 signed by Stan Lee himself, the man, the myth, the legend. This is my bar. All tequila. This Tesla tequila is probably my favorite. I got this as like a collector's piece. So whenever any of my friends come over or stay over when I'm not here, I always tell them, help yourself to anything you want, but do not touch my Tesla tequila. This is my Spider-Man. The only man in my life besides William. This is what I've been doing. I'm such an influencer. It's terrible. This is kind of my tribute area. This is my puppy who died October 1st last year. That has been the hardest struggle with grief I think I've ever had in my entire life. This is Pooh Bear. So here's her collar with her apple tracker. And then here's her original Pooh Bear costume that she wore as a puppy. And uh, next to it, I put my YouTube plaque because I know it's silly, but Pooh Bear would have been so proud of me. <laughs> that sounds so silly. Am I so sentimental? Ew. This is a bathroom. This is kind of my hallway of bathrooms. This bathroom is not clean because my little brother stayed here a couple days ago and left it a complete and total disaster. It's disgusting, bleh, Noah. I look like a hoarder, but these are kind of like all of my skincare and my lotions and my hair care and all that stuff. So if any of my friends come over and they're like, hey, do you have hairspray? I'm like, 
Ayo, check this floor cabinet, because I most likely do. That's bathroom number one. And then you go down our little hallway with my storage cabinets, and you get to bathroom number two, which, where's the light? As you can see, I'm never in here. This is a guest bathroom. It probably needs to be cleaned. <laughs> this vlog is gonna be all over the place. And after my lovely hallway of things, this is my laundry, hence, Laundry. It looks just like everyone else's laundry in New York City. It's stackable. I don't really care. I do my laundry, I fold it, and I put it away. Or I, I leave it in the washing machine for like four days straight and forget about it. This is my Christmas tree, even though it's no longer Christmas time. I should probably take it down, but I'm not going to because I'm festive and I love this tree and I want to keep it up until it becomes a fire hazard because I love this tree. Uh, when I first moved to New York City, I lived in a studio apartment. It's all I could afford. Sub subleased it, I sublet it. I sublet it from another model. It wasn't big enough to put anything in it. And so my first apartment here in New York, I couldn't put up a Christmas tree. I had a tiny little Christmas tree that stood on like a stand. And so I promised myself when I finally hit certain goals in my life and I could afford it, I would get a big tree to celebrate. This year was the first year that I hit that goal. I got myself a big tree. Okay, my kitchen. My kitchen's not clean right now because I've been unboxing things. So don't judge me or judge me. You're prerogative, do your thing. This is my kitchen. When I first saw the unit, this island was not there. It was just like white cabinets, looked completely different. The hardware was different. It was just a lot older looking, which is why this unit kind of sat on the market for so long. We have done a lot of work and I actually put on all of the hardware in the bathrooms and in the kitchen. I wanted a big kitchen because my entire life I have lived in houses, not big houses, but just houses because I grew up in Minnesota. So we would always have like a really big yard and then a cute house, but the biggest thing in the house was always the kitchen. And when I moved to New York City, so many apartments here don't really have much of a kitchen. They have a European kitchen or they have a little kitchenette. It was a big thing for me when I was looking at apartments. I really wanted to find one that when you looked at the kitchen, you felt like it was in a house and not an apartment. I wanted something cozy and warm and not too modern. And I think I, think I found a really good mix of that. This is my pantry. We're not gonna talk about it. It's really messy, it's fine. I have a pantry, that's all that matters. We're just gonna close that door and go over here. This is my dining room. Probably where I spend the second most amount of time, I think. And if I move this table and these chairs, this kind of turns into a photo studio. So we've used this for photo shoots, we've used it for shooting videos, we've used it for shooting products. This is kind of like my in-house studio, which is great because back in the day, this actually used to be a studio. So I feel like I'm paying homage to what it originally was. Or I'm just doing my job. <laughs> this is my guest bedroom. So this is, oh, and it's a disaster. This is kind of the room for my best friend or my little brother or anyone who really wants to come over and stay. Uh, I also have it just to store all of my extra crap because I needed one more closet to put all of my extra crap. My friends love it. And that's all I could have ever asked for kitchen that's my dog and this this is my master suite hallway I wanted an apartment that had kind of a separate master area I lived in studios for so long in New York City that I got used to having my bed next to my living room and when I could finally move into something bigger uh, I really wanted to feel again like I was in a house I'm a hoarder so this is my closet. I really wanted a walk-in closet. They're so hard to find in New York City. I walked into this unit. Even if it didn't have a walk-in closet, I would have gotten it. But then I walked back here and I realized they had a walk-in closet and I was like, so it's mine. I never want to leave. Okay. So this is my closet for all of my things. And I need to give some away. This is my master bedroom. Woo! Looks the same as other bedrooms? I don't know, it's a bedroom, I sleep here. This is where the magic happens. And by magic, I mean literally nothing because I live by myself, so. Then I've got my gaming station. I love to play computer games. For those asking if I'll ever be on Twitch, probably not because I cannot keep up with my life already. But this is my kind of relaxing area where I can game when I have the time. And as you can see, I have more Marvel characters right here and more action figures. 
This is my bad pattern machine. This helps me hopefully not need very much Botox. I believe it's like red light and some sort of sauna. So it basically keeps you from developing fine lines and wrinkles. And I do it 30 minutes every single day. And this just rolls over my bed, plugs in, and then boom, I lay under it like I am a vampire zombie. Everyone's always weirded out when they walk in my bedroom and this is here, so. Oh, my dogs are here. My dogs are here. Did you enjoy your walk, baby girl? Hi, Sky Bear. Hi, Spockums. Did you guys enjoy your walk? This, this is why I need the bowling alley. Mom's doing a house tour. Welcome to my super, super messy bathroom. I just really wanted a bathroom that had good lighting, number one, and number two, one that was just big enough for me and like a friend or two friends to get ready in. Got all this counter space, it only has one sink, which I love because it's literally just me. My friends and I can both get ready right here, and if I've got more than one friend over, I've got too many bathrooms, so pick your poison. <laughs> One of my favorite things about this was there is a tub. So this is a lovely standing tub. Can't really see it. This is my standing tub, which looks absolutely disgusting because I just washed my dogs. To clean it, I thought this entire standing tub would be for me to relax, but it's for you guys, because you get New York juice all over you. One of my other favorite things about my apartment is I actually have heated floors. Never seen this in an older apartment. Didn't even know that this was here until after I got the apartment. This is my shower. I love it because I can move in it. When I first moved in, this was not here. This was all just open to the bedroom. I wanted a door to cover it up. You're going to the bathroom and like you're hanging out with one of your friends and maybe you don't want them to have to stare at you while you go to the bathroom. I don't know. I just wanted a door. I just like doors. They were nice enough to agree to install it. And now I have privacy in my bathroom, even though it's not really privacy. It's just like a little bit of privacy. It is a devil of privacy. This is what I wake up to every single morning. And I literally couldn't, I could not feel luckier. That is my apartment tour vlog. My first attempt ever. I think I'm gonna keep doing because this has been really fun. It's probably not gonna be fun to edit it. Yeah. Let me know what you wanna see. I see more daily vlogs. My makeup routine. I don't know. Do you wanna see my dogs? Let me know what you wanna see because I am here for you. Seriously, from the bottom of my heart, thank you for watching all my shenanigans. Thank you for taking the time to watch my first daily vlog video. So. Comment, like, subscribe, best. I love you all. I hope you have the best holiday weekend, New Year's Eve, 2023. Yeah. Haley Khalil, out. <laughs> I'm done.